look outside my studio and I see the light out here and it's just beautiful. And then I'm able to see the colors on the train. So you see it flying by. It's got the reds and the blues. My painting would be considered uh, abstract, but there is an element of figurative that always peeks its head in my paintings. My work is very intuitive. I create work because of the energy around me. I don't know what comes over me. I just go into this state and I paint. It's like a trance light state. I've always painted and I paint because I have to. I don't feel like I have a choice in the matter. It's something bigger than me. There's days when I've tried to go without painting and it gives me physical pain. Just as a dancer has to dance, uh, I have to paint. It feels like it's a calling. Painting's really taking me out of a really dark place. If I'm stressed or I feel threatened, I go down and I start drawing or painting. It's been something my whole life that I've put up as a barrier against people. It's been something that was a safe place. I started painting around the age of four. I took paints from school and I would paint sticks and rocks, whatever I could get my hands on, and I would paint on them. I made the mistake of sharing my drawings with the caretakers. And they were just like, you need to get a job in a factory. You are not going to be an artist. That's not something that people do around here. I felt like I'd been dropped in from outer space with these people. Painting became for me an escape mechanism and a form of rebellion. I can do what I want and I'll be successful with this. There was a major seizure which uh, led to uh, coma and the coma kept me in the hospital about eight hours. I started dreaming at that time and I needed an outlet to put the dreams down. I keep a dream journal. I write about my dreams and I work with a Jungian analyst and that's the process of my painting. My paintings are from the subconscious. After my dreams started uh, coming really hard, I guess that caused a, a switch in my painting too. It uh, switched from very figurative into very gestural and very dramatic, abstract painting. I look at my painting and uh, I don't know what happened. I'm grateful. Everything about my work is changing. Now I, I paint things that I see. I paint other painters' work. I'm exploring new techniques and style, collage and working smaller.
The new work is my take on how I see women perceived in film and television. I don't think there's enough material about strong women, and that's what my paintings are about, strong women. We're all strong women at heart. Inside us, there is a strong woman urging to get out. Young artists need to try to create art because it means something for them. It gives them joy. There's a lot that we don't tap into. Dreams are possible if you get through the pain. Really great art can either come from trauma in life or it can come from a great joy.